Hello everybody, welcome back to Towner Takeover, where we are reviewing the show Married at First Sight, season 14, and today we're going to be reviewing episode 2. Um, I don't know, this episode, it was okay. What do you think? Yeah, um... I'm just ready to dive into Me too. into you know the marriage and stuff. I guess people gotta get married first before we do that. It just taking forever though. Just show all the weddings. I don't understand yeah. why we still haven't seen everybody that's getting married yet. So mm -hmm. that's kind of frustrating. We still watching people getting their dress and their tuxedos, and I felt like we just seen that last week, and we're watching the same people try on dresses this week. So right, I don't know. So that's that was been, a little frustrating. Yeah, that's definitely been frustrating. So. This week, we got to see a little bit more of Lindsay and Mark's wedding um, than, like, taking their pictures and, you know, things like that. Um, we got to see Mike and Katina him. and Elijah Wan's wedding. We got to see Jasmina and Michael's wedding. And we still have to see Noy and Steve and Alyssa and Chris. So we still have two more weddings um to see next week mm -hmm. um so i guess you can start with Lindsay and mark just because they mm -hmm. only showed us like a small little yeah. snippet of them it wasn't a lot um to go over with them um so Lindsay and mark she's still being a goofball um but he seems to like be okay with it oh uh, no he well he's, he he he's putting on the front right now of of being okay with it. In my okay. opinion, I feel like he, down the line down the line he want to be like girl, close your mouth. He did say in our quote, "My wife is a wild child," mm -hmm. and that is exactly what she is. But to be honest, in my assessment, um, they seem to be like a pretty good fit. Like he seems to, for now. Like I know that you know once they start being with each other every single day living together i'm pretty sure things will arise but like for right now they seem to be a pretty good fit of like you know how it's that one person to be like you know it takes a very special person to deal with them and, and like it works mm -hmm. that's yeah. kind of what they seem like right now is like he seems to be able to kind of tame her like there's what they say is somebody for everybody yeah. and um that's how it kind of seems to be right now i yeah. don't know yeah, and I, I can get that um, why you say that, but at the same time, I feel like since he already making some remarks about how wild she is and stuff like that, I feel like he's going to not be able to handle it for that long in the marriage. Okay. She, but he okay. does seem like a patient guy, so I mean, you never know, and we haven't seen much of them yet, so I, I'm trying not to judge, but... Maybe I'm just going on how I would act towards her and I would have to tell her to close that mouth. <laughs> she did say that she finds him attractive, so that was good. Um, yes. He, of course, I, you know, thinks that she's attractive. Um, they did bond over the mom thing. So we know that, you know, she kind of has a strange relationship with her mom. Um, his mom kind of has like those physical issues. Um, but it kind of also seems like him and his mom have like a weird relationship too. Like when he called her and like told her about it and he, and he was like, love you. She was like, all right. Like, I don't know. Maybe don't she's just she not like a, a fan of I love you person, it. but, um, they both like bonded over the fact that like, dang, like both of our moms aren't here kind of sucks. Um, and I think that that kind of, um, kind of brought them together a little bit and kind of like created like a little soft spot for each other because they both kind of know what the other is kind of going through um you know so I don't know it'll be interesting to kind of see them as time goes on and when they go on the honeymoon and they're kind of with each other for a long period of time every day all day um to kind of see how they blossom so yeah. we'll see um okay who do we want to go to next Whoever's next on the list. Okay. Alyssa and Chris. Boring. Alyssa is. You know. Um, I have to remember who they were. You know, I I don't like her. I'm not feeling her. I don't think she's good for this uh, for TV. But I think once the marriage get going, she's going to be good for TV. Yeah. She's going to be a mess. And I'm not going to no, like no. her. Like, she just, she's very boring. She still just has this like uppity, 
Yeah, yeah like, so yeah. And, like, I just can see her taking advantage of him. And, like, he's so nice. I love Chris. He's so nice. You know, he even, like, said to his friends at the tuxedo place, like, you know, I'll be willing, like, whatever she doesn't like about me, I'm going to do my best to change it. Like, pretty much like saying, like, he would be willing to change himself if there's something about him that she doesn't like. And I'm glad that his friends was like, no, like, don't change, like, who you are. Like, still be true to who you are. Like, yes, in marriage, you're going to have to compromise and, you know, you're going to have to bend a little bit um to you know make sure that the other person's needs are getting met mm -hmm. but to a certain extent like you don't want to lose yourself completely um just because she has all of these like expectations of like what she expects and i just foresee her just being a not nice person and him just being like okay okay you know just trying to do like whatever just to keep her mm -hmm. um and to try to make it work even if that means that he's going to be like taking some stuff that he doesn't deserve and then I'm not I'm really not gonna like her yeah I think um what she's looking for I don't think that's exactly who what's his name Chris is mm -hmm. um because you know she won't like a cowboy yeah country boy country boy type thing and I don't know mm -hmm. I'm sorry sorry for my name <laughs> cut you there <laughs> I don't know who in Boston it's like a I didn't know that was like a country town. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was more of a city type thing. But um <sighs> I don't yeah, he's he's not country. He he's not around all them animals that she wants him to be around and <laughs> you know, I don't think <laughs> I don't know what the experts was thinking yeah. with this one. Um I don't see it. Mm -mm, me either. I don't see it. I don't so. I don't have the faith, but I guess And she also said she wants somebody see. with some good teeth and that has straight teeth and stuff like that and then Chris don't have that. Yeah, his teeth were kinda of a little jacked up. Yeah. Poor baby. It's just a little jacked up. I mean for anybody yeah, else not like, who's not like Yeah, it's not real bad. Like yeah, when it's you, not yeah, it's when not like that, mouth, but, but it's not like perfect she, how she wants how it. How she how she was claiming she wants the yeah. teeth look, so and I, and if she told the S first that I don't know why they looked at his mouth and said, <laughs> Oh, he got good that's put him with whatever that girl name is. <laughs> yeah, that was I don't know, S first, they be they be all over the place too. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes they do. Yeah, so I mean I I hope she proves me wrong. Um, but right now I feel like she's gonna be she's not. I'm, not I'm, one I'm of gonna my say favorites. The, the, the honeymoon it's when she's going to really start pissing everybody off, mm -hmm. all the viewers. Um, but even in the preview, it looked like she might make me mad next week. Oh, yeah, at the wedding. Yes. So she might Because see what I'm talking about? Let's get to it. Like, come on, y'all. I'm I mean, ready for next it's week. Gonna be a villain. It's going to be a villain every season, and I think she might be that villain. Or it might be the psycho girl, you know, the cuckoo to Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> What's her name? Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah, I think it might be Lindsay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, that's them. Not much on them. I guess we'll see more of them when their wedding um, airs next week. Okay. Let's go to Katina and Elijah Wan. Oh, Elijah Wan. He works on my nerves. Oh, he works on my nerves. Yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. He's, um... I feel like he's still got some growing up to do. And I... Very much so. Don't know. Once again, how the expert said through a whole interview. Maybe he did that Chris uh, thing from mm -hmm. the other season where he completely tricked them <laughs> to think that he's this <laughs> certain type of person. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they should have followed him throughout like a whole week or so to figure Something. out who I, he is. But he's not. I don't he think they're a good up. match. He's I don't think they're up. a good match. I do, I do not think that they're a good match. I think that he's a lot. And you talk too doggone much. Yeah, he makes me really nervous. Um, because like you said, he I think he has a lot of growing up to do. I don't know if he's really where weary, if he's really ready um for marriage. Um this episode their wedding aired and it definitely showed us like how full of himself he is. Like, don't get me wrong, like you know, there's nothing wrong with being like confident and like feeling good about yourself, but like to a certain extent, like you're doing the most. Like mm -hmm. he was just like so, just like oh my gosh, she's gonna be like this when she sees me. She's gonna be like that when she sees me. Da da da. da. And I'm just like, is she? Like, 
Because she wasn't. Because you're not all of that. I'm just saying. She didn't say it. She probably was thinking it, but she didn't say um, anything about him when she got down yes. to the Yes. So when she comes down the aisle, he's like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. You know, she's like, thank you. you know? I'm looking at you. you were doing yeah, like he was doing the most, as always. And he, and then she's like, you know, thank you, you know. And then he says, like, you're not going to say nothing about me. <laughs> and I lost it. Who says that to somebody? somebody like, who, obviously, if they wanted to say it, right? they would have said it. I feel like he's that type of guy who, who searched for that type of attention where he wants you know, females that they say those type of things mm -hmm. to him and how he looks and stuff, which mm -hmm. is why he always have his shirt off and he right. always got that over the top energy mm -hmm. where he's always Because he's looking for seeking he that attention. He's looking for that attention yeah. and she ain't giving it to him and if she don't give it to him in this marriage, she go drive him crazy. Yeah. So she was like, Oh no, like you're handsome. I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. Like what's she supposed to say? Like And also I feel like he wanted the attention on him. Um for the wedding, and I feel like you know, in the wedding, I know it, it's mostly for the ladies. Let's be honest; it's mm -hmm. mostly for the bride or whatever. And he was, I don't know. He, he even when, in that conversation mm -hmm. after the wedding, he wasn't talking about asking her questions. He wasn't mm -hmm. um, trying to get to know her. He was just telling her how their marriage was going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you know, if you ever feeling this way, this is what, how I want you to come to me. And then you know, in, in our marriage, I want us to do this, this, and this. This, like y'all, he was just talking, 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 talking to the point that she was like. Yeah, like, I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. Like, it's a lot. I just met you. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna ask me my middle name, what I do for a living, what do I like to do, what do I enjoy? Like, you're literally, like, just giving me this speech mm -hmm. and, like, asking for another kiss. It was so awkward. He's like, you know, I kind of just, like, really want to just, you know, ask you for another kiss. What? I'll talk this. Silent. This is the guy. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really so <laughs> he was awkward. Like, well, can I? Like, yeah. can I have it? She's like, okay, sure. Yeah. Like, it was just so awkward. It was very awkward. And I feel like, and he also was a guy who said he's, um, sex don't matter. Right. Um, he don't mind it. waiting. Mm -hmm. That's going to be it. Yeah. They, they were very, it, it was a lot of awkward silence. Like, I feel like with a lot of the other couples, like conversation flow naturally. Like once they got married and they have like that little minute to themselves, I feel like the Every other couple, conversation flowed naturally. They took that time to try to ask, like, little things about the person just to get to know them. For them, I don't think that that happened organically. It was a lot of dead silence. And I do think that that is what made him start just, you know, start talking and not stop to try to, like, you know, cover up that silence mm -hmm. and that, like, energy. But at the same time, like, you still got to give her some room and I know that in social work, that's hard for us. Like, but they tell us all the times with our clients, like sometimes silence is good. Like people don't always have a, re a response like that quick. And so sometimes it's good to just sit in silence for a minute and allow that person to gather their thoughts and allow them to bring something to the conversation instead of you just leading the whole time, right. which is hard for us as social workers because we're used to talking mm -hmm. and, you know, we're trying to, you know, assess them or whatever. But like he needs to take that advice. It's OK to sit in silence sometimes yeah. to let the other person kind of shine a little bit. Yeah, he has, but it, it, he has that problem with anybody you talk to. Like with his brother, he he was trying to finish his brother's sentences. Yeah, he was. And he was completely he was off. Um, like, like, dude, just shut up and listen. And the problem, that's probably why he has a problem in relationships or in stuff like that, because he don't yeah. listen. He always trying to talk over somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. it's just going to be a very entertaining season. Yes, he's going to be crying, y'all. He was boo-hoo crying before this wedding, honey. I mean, just crying, crying, crying. I said, oh, Lord, we got another crier on our hands. Yeah, yeah. He was just so overwhelmed. Yeah, he might be the crybaby of the season. And y'all, we found out that she might not be able to cook. Y'all know he talked all that mess uh -oh. about how a wife, if she don't know how to cook, that's not a wife. Da, da, da. He but he sure humbled himself real quick in front of her and her family. He said, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure yeah. it out together. We'll figure we'll it out together. I said, oh, somebody really changed their tune up. Yeah. Because he said that was a deal breaker for did him. He, and did he not tell the experts that? You think... Once again, if that is somebody main thing that they said would be like a turn off for them, why would you put them in a marriage with somebody who, sure. who can't cook? That was his only thing. We talked to his family. I'm mm -hmm. sure he talked to experts that. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. 
I don't know, but I'm not a fan of Elijah Wan. I'm sorry. I think he's going to work on my nerves, okay? He think he'll get on my nerves, too, but I'm going to enjoy watching him. He's going to be good. He going to be good for TV. Yeah. He's going to be good for TV, but we'll see. Okay. Um, Noi and Steve. Um, we didn't get to see that much of them because, again, their wedding is going to air next week. Um, so we kind of just got like their like getting ready type scenes. Mm -hmm. um, what I did, I will say, I'm going to go ahead and put it out here that I think that they're going to be my favorite couple. I do. Mm -hmm. I think that they both are very likable. Um, I think in the other couples, I mean, Jasmina and Michael, I, I kind of like them too, but all the other couples, it's like I like one, but the other one kind of get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. But Noi and Steve, I feel like are both likable people. Um, I love that she's more concerned about the quality of the man and not so much the superficial stuff or the appearance or the money or the this or the that she's like i just want somebody that's kind that's loyal that's kids. dependable that wants kids she did say like of course you know i want him tall dark and handsome but like she's like i'm more concerned about who he is as a person mm -hmm. um and so i was like that's what's up you know what i'm saying because that's what's gonna last yeah. Like, all that other stuff can fade. So, like, if you make sure you get a person that has just, like, good characteristics, that's just an overall good person, like, I feel like that's what's going to give you a leg up mm -hmm. in a successful marriage. Um, so, I was like, okay, girl, I feel you. Um, they both want somebody adventurous. So, I thought that was good. Mm -hmm. I just think that they might be a good fit. I don't know. What do you think? I think so, too. I think... Um... First, I think they have a great support system with their family and they friends. Do. Um, I like both of their um, their families and stuff. Um, especially her mom. I hope we see a lot of her mom. Me too. I'm not <laughs> going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I know, when she's seen... Um, what's it, boy, man? Steve. Steve. When she's seen Steve at the altar, her mom just said, he's handsome and stuff like that. And I just think she's a sweet lady. I mm -hmm. like her. Yeah. Um... So I just, I really hope they work out. But they remind me, I don't know if you remember. I feel like this was the first season we've seen. Of that guy who was, um, he was a professional basketball player, but he ain't like playing the NBA. So oh, that played. tall guy. And he was, was with really that... tall, but he was with that other short uh -huh. lady. And he left her at the, and, at and the house. Many a times. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to mess around with other girls while he mm -hmm. was on the show. Don't tell me you think Steve going to be doing I that. I don't, but I think the, the, the way that they look and stuff like that. Not, not uh, with him being so tall and her being so short. Um, I don't know why I always picture them when I see them on TV. When I see CBS. No, I don't see it at all. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe because it's I'm the height thing. I'm going to have to pull up a side by side. It's just a height so thing. So that you can see. I think it's just that. They, don't, they don't look alike. Mm, okay. But it's just a height thing, maybe. But um, I don't think Steve is that type of guy to, to do that. Um, I think he has, he values family and stuff. And I know. He wants to um, start on the family ASAP. And same thing for her. So I think they're going to um, mesh well together. Okay. They got the same goals for a marriage. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what. That brother Steve got some faith. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, you know, my parents had an arranged marriage. I'm going to step out here and get married at first sight. I'm going to go on a four-month road trip, quit my job. Not have a job. Just be out here mm -hmm. living. Living his best life. Go ahead, brother. Mm. But I want his brother to do something with that hair. That hair was taking me out but the whole episode. And her, her sister, people. Her and then her sister has that pink hair. I don't know what's going on with them and their family members and these crazy hair dudes. I think they their families are so, so alike. It makes no sense. So I think it's going to really help them. Cause yeah. They, Seem like they um, have similar backgrounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm rooting for them. They're my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there that they're my favorite couple, but we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if they stay my favorite couple, we'll see. Okay, last couple, Jasmina and Michael. So they were the first wedding of the episode. You got a song in your head? I do, I think. Uh, I live in my best life. It's in there. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, she is very much set on having a successful marriage. Like, that's something that she's continuously repeated, that she really wants to be able to have a successful marriage to show her younger sisters how it's done, just because <laughs> they've come, come from 
some pretty, you know, broken homes. relationships and, and, and broken homes. So I just hope that that the pressure of that doesn't become a barrier um, for their relationship. And it can go either way. The pressure could be, okay, I'm going to work hard to make yeah. sure this works. Or the pressure could be, you know, that it kind of... I don't know, breaks up the marriage because all that pressure is there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, I just hope she's careful of that. Yeah, hopefully she um, just try to have fun. Mm -hmm. You know, in the beginning of a marriage, especially, I mean, throughout the marriage, you want to have fun too. Yeah. In the beginning of of the marriage, it's it's just like dating, you know, and getting to know someone. So hopefully she just, and she's not as serious as I thought though. Yeah, no, this episode uh, this, showed she's, she's very shows silly. a lot of uh, sil- silliness mm-hmm. and goofiness. So, yeah. Um, that was a. Uh, that made me think different of her, too. Like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe she's not so serious as I thought she right. was. Right. Because I think they called her, like, Miss No Nonsense or something mm-hmm. like that. So, I was afraid that, like, she would be very rigid. Um, like, um, Michael's friends did mention this episode that Michael tends to overthink things. Um, and so I hope that they're able to kind of move past that, Mm -hmm. um, and that he doesn't let that kind of hinder the process and hinder their progress, like in the relationship. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause if you somebody who overthink things, if she does say, you know, well, this is something I want you to work on. If he does overthink things, it could, he could really take it. To another level that it doesn't have to go or he can really internalize it and, you know, things like that. So I'm just hoping that they're able to, you know, communicate effectively Mm -hmm. and not let like those things um, be barriers um, within the the marriage. Um, She did mention that she feels like she's been that in past relationships. She's been that person um, men had to go through to get it right. And so I thought that was like really interesting and like a good talking point, like for us to kind of pause and like talk about a little bit. Um, Like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, do you think that that's like a thing that like men typically have to like be with somebody that woman kind of like not fix them up, but like that relationship teaches them a lot and gets them prepared for the next woman type thing? Like, do you think that every man has to go through that to get to the right person? Or do you think it just, like, depends? Um, I'm going to say it kind of depends. But also, I feel like not just men, but women do the same thing. Because the point of dating is, you know, to learn things about yourself, really. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in every relationship you should learn something from it and take it into the next relationship mm-hmm. and then there are just some times where that guy find that perfect match mm-hmm. and he sticks with it because he learned from the past relationship and then everything else maybe that she has just match him and they just become a perfect bond mm-hmm. where he looks like you know what i'm saying he looking better and looking good mm-hmm. it's just maybe because they just match better right but um yeah I think every every man or woman should go into the next relationship with taking pieces mm-hmm. that they learn. And it's not so much that the girl made that person better mm-hmm. or nothing. It's just he just learned and talk, you know, learned some things mm-hmm. and then maybe say when I'm going to the next relationship, I'm not gonna do those things as right. I've in this past one. Mm-hmm. And um so yeah, I think like that's how I think about yeah. it. Yeah. And I know that I I get both sides of it. I get feeling like when people in man or woman feeling like they've put time into a relationship and really try to like, you know, be there for that person. I'm going to stick beside him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick beside her, you know, Mm -hmm. and try to really like be there for that person through like whatever it is they're going through. They grow in pains or like whatever. And then when it doesn't work out, you feel like, well, dang, like I did all I invested all of that. And I still, like, it still didn't work out, like, in the end, you know? Like, time, it sucks to invest all that time in somebody, and then it doesn't end how you thought it would. So I definitely can see the frustration in that. Um, But like you said, I think that 
like you you take away from some relationships and what's meant to be will be and then that just might not be the person you were meant to be with but it was meant to teach you something and you for you to take some nuggets along the way I also think it could be a situation of you always don't see what it really is like what it may look like ain't what it is like you may look at him him or her with the next person and be like well that's what I wanted them to be for me but you don't know the ins and outs and he might still he or she might still be on that same mm -hmm. BS but you just yeah. don't see it you, you know see, you're not with him like you used to uh, right seven. so it's not always things aren't always what they mm -hmm. appear to be mm -hmm. um and so I think a, a lot of times you know people do get hung up on that feeling like you know just because they stuck beside that person mm -hmm. that they're owed something um, in the end, but it's just not always. It doesn't the cookie doesn't always crumble yeah. that way. And the pictures you see are not it's just a picture. Talk about it's, it. It can be because it be a lot of stuff yeah. on the other side of them Instagram pictures. Okay. Right. Um. But yeah. Um. Ultimately, I just feel like what's what's for you is for you, mm -hmm. and what's meant to be will be, and so you gotta kind of just go through to get to mm -hmm. whatever you know. It's meant for you. Absolutely. Nah, uh, but I am just saying I would have been mad though if I would have been sticking beside you, and then you, somebody else reaped the benefits of all the hard work I put in. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> um. But yeah. So I'm hoping that Michael is who she's supposed to be with. I feel bad for her that she's like had to, go you know, go things. through. Yeah. All of that and, you know, because it seems like she's been through that multiple times where, like, you know, guys just didn't have it together. She got the short end of the mm -hmm. stick. So I'm hoping he seems like a very nice, respectable guy. Um, so I'm hoping um, that it works out for them for sure. I will say that um, I think we both thought that she wasn't going to find him attractive. Correct. But, correct. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can't remember, but she didn't act like she yeah. was like, you know turned off by him and right they kissed like at the ceremony because you know yeah. some people like have been against kissing and most of the times because they are attracted to right her. so i was like okay like her her reaction wasn't like a eh. like she seemed mm -hmm. like okay which i agree i was shocked by that um she did even mention like i do feel like a little spark Mm -hmm. um, between us. So she did kind of like admit that. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So it ain't a big spark. And right. Like that, but it, and we'll take that little spark. Right. But he, um, he over there feeling all kind of sparks. He said, you know, I, yeah. feel, I feel a connection. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I yeah. said, oh Lord, Michael, now hold on. But it always, I, I feel like it <laughs> might always be that one person. He was trying who, to touch her booty and everything. Yeah. yeah. During them pictures. Yeah. She said, did y'all see that? You're trying to touch mm -hmm. my booty. <laughs> yeah, that's, and I thought that was a really silly moment because I feel like if she was as serious as I thought she was going to be, right. she would not have to allow him to do that and yeah. stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool and, yeah. and cute of her to do. So I'm, I am rooting for them. Um, I can't wait to see how this is going to play out for them. I think that this is the cup I'm more excited, mm -hmm. most excited to yeah. see. Um, but we did find out that he don't watch TV. I think that's kind of weird. Yeah, he don't He don't like Marvel. She said, you don't like Marvel? I but, said, oh, Lord, you're my junior. Like that's crazy. I didn't watch Marvel before you came into my life. But also, and that can be fun for them to, uh, for him to kind of get more into her life and things mm -hmm. that she like. Yeah. But also, a big difference was they sleep pattern. Oh yeah. She said she'd be up watching Korean shows. Yeah. Now, come on now, I ain't watching no Korean shows, but I do watch anime. So I don't know. Right. But um, that's a that's a little weird that she stayed up to like two. She said she said mm -hmm. up to like two. He said he in the bed and, and like nine, night, night sleep. Yeah, by nine. She said I'll be in the now, bed she'd too. She'd be in the bed too. But I'll be watching but TV. But now we got to figure out do he sleep with the TV on right. or sleep with the TV off? Yeah, because he don't watch TV at all. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah. So I don't know. That'll be yeah. And that's always something you ask at at the beginning of the um, date, like the first date. Mm -hmm. Do you sleep with the TV on? Do you sleep with the TV off? Because we got to work this out. I used to sleep with the TV off. I like to be in just like darkness, silence. That is how I've always been. This guy likes to sleep with the TV on with cartoons playing mm -hmm. in the background, mm -hmm. like Disney Channel and stuff. Yeah. Like y'all, it was a very hard adjustment. I used to have to wear a little mask because like the light from the TV would just like really bother me. Um, but over the years, I've gotten used to it. 
Um, I did have to say like no more Disney Channel though because in the morning when they start playing them like cartoons and stuff, it'd be so loud. They'd be singing. <laughs> I can't take it. You know what I'm saying? So like we did have to compromise. Yeah. On that, so now we go to sleep to Big Bang Theory every night for the last. How old is Jackson? About to be three, for the last three years. Um, But yeah, when he gets up in the morning to go to work, if I can remember, like if I'm not dead asleep, I'll turn the TV off when he leaves. But yeah, about to come back home, turn the TV back on. You don't really wake her up or nothing. She got used to it. So I said that to say marriage is about compromise, it, you know? There's it some is. stuff you're just going to have to bend on. So mm-hmm. we'll see how they are able to, you know, make that work. Maybe he's going to start watching TV, you know? I think so. I think he will. Um, TV is a good bonding yeah. thing to do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I think that's everybody. We did um, good on time. Yes, we did. Um, so, yeah, so we'll be back next week. I think next week we'll have a guest with us. Um, I don't know which one it will be yet, um, but I think we will have a guest with us next week um, to talk about episode three when we'll finally be off through the weddings and maybe we'll get to see some of the honeymoon. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, at least we'll see a sneak peek. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Because they're moving real slow this season. We don't know what's going on. Yes. So continue to come along this journey with us. Please comment. Like, let us mm-hmm. know um, what you think. Kind of like interact with us if we say something and you agree with it or you have a different perspective like we love to read your comments and see kind of like what you guys are thinking and what your thoughts are about the couples and about this season so yeah comment like share subscribe and we will be back next week yes sir bye bye